Time now for Consumer Confidential with KTLA's David Lazarus. You join us in studio. Hope you had a Hi. good weekend. And what's this about Amazon cutting mm. thousands of jobs? At the holiday season. And that's yeah. what makes this particularly unusual here. According to the New York Times, citing anonymous sources, but still the New York Times, says Amazon could cut about 10,000 jobs this week in a number of divisions, including those that oversee devices, retail, and human resources. This comes as many tech companies are facing a retrenchment amidst not just a drop in ad revenue, but also just simply dark clouds on the economic horizon. Now, as I say, this comes during the holiday season. So for a company like Amazon, this is a big red flag if it does happen for both shareholders and analysts looking at where the company is going. But to be sure, Amazon is not alone here. On Friday, we talked about how Disney is going to be putting in a hiring freeze and laying some people off. And then the likes of Meta, Twitter, and other big name tech companies also been cutting thousands of positions in recent weeks. Now, the bigger story here can be found in recent surveys of CEOs. And the the vast majority of these folks are anticipating a recession next year, possibly a nasty one. So it's fair to assume that these folks who have access to analyses and data that the rest of us don't see and are still smarting from some of the financial bruises of the pandemic are now getting their fiscal ducks in a row ahead of a possible severe downturn in months to come. Hence all these layoffs, hence the prospect that after the highest consumer prices in 40 years, this could be the next economic shoe to drop. Don't want to be too much of a Cassandra here. We're still a little bit ahead of this story. I've got more of it online at KTLA.com, and we'll be tracking it today as it advances. All right, we're also talking about paying off debt, Bed Bath & Beyond. They're doing something unusual. Unusual and also unappealing to shareholders, it mm -hmm. turns out. Bed Bath & Beyond, which we've been talking about, these guys, like many retailers, have been struggling for footing amidst the, the pandemic and the post-pandemic. Now comes news this morning that Bed Bath is going to be issuing new stock to help it pay down about a billion dollars in debt. Okay, from a financial point of view, that makes sense. But from a shareholder view, not so much because anytime a company issues new shares that dilutes the value of the share of the shares that are already in circulation meaning this is not good for existing shareholders and you think for a company like Bed Bath which has been struggling for a while now the last people you want to cheese off are your shareholders nevertheless they need cash and they need it fast so they're taking this route Bed Bath stock at last check down about 5%. It's down more than 70% so far this year. The company is dealing with not just trying to live in Amazon's world and charge higher prices for the things that Amazon can spend less on, but also Bed Bath has been dealing with leadership changes and difficulties with its suppliers. And that's why some analysts believe this move with the shares, a short-term fix, bankruptcy could still be a possibility. Oh, yeah. Are you surprised about this Elon Musk SpaceX going to be a big advertiser? on Musk's Twitter now. Hello! <laughs> that kind of cuts to the chase, but that's that's the interesting thing here. Now, Twitter has been scrambling to try and find new advertising revenue as many advertisers flee since the chaos of Elon Musk's $44 billion takeover of the social media platform about two weeks ago. Many big name advertisers and ad agencies have said, yeah, we're gonna watch and see how this plays out before we potentially jeopardize our brands by putting them in this troubled land landscape. So now Twitter announcing, hey, we just landed the SpaceX account. This is a big one. Could bring in about a quarter of a million dollars by featuring SpaceX ads for its Starlink internet, satellite internet service. And when this happens, it basically means that Twitter gets taken over by a single marketer for a day. Depending on how far around the world this goes, that means more revenue for Twitter. That's the good thing. But as Court just said, wait a minute, <laughs> SpaceX is also owned by Elon Musk. So that's an example of moving money from one pocket to another, you could say. Will this be enough to convince advertisers that it's safe to come back? Not a chance. Not yet.